What is the key to unlocking Hunter's pass rush potential? I, you know, just, we're just worried day by day and just in terms of just our drill work and then just focusing on our film work. So, you know, do the drill, come back and watch it on film. And then if it's body movements, if it's physicality, uh, just trying to identify what his weaknesses are and then work from there. What does Hunter bring to the table in terms of his size, speed, strength, skill? What do you like about him? The biggest thing is just experience. He's played a lot of football games. And so, you know, the experience as far as game time experience, uh, you know, obviously experience of how practice and the flow of uh, practice should go, uh, how meetings, uh, the expectations of how meetings are. So just experience. And how do you think the position that he's playing suits his skill set? Uh, I think it's good for him. I mean, it, uh, basically, we look at it. Obviously, we all talk about its outside linebacker position. You know, when we think of outside linebacker, we think of like the Khalil Max, uh, Vaughn Millers. Uh, but just in general, it's to me, it's an edge defender. He's pass rushing. Every now and then, he'll drop off into the flats. You talk about his intangibles, leadership. First day of practice, we saw him calling out guys for not paying attention and, and, and working hard. Enough. Yeah, I mean, those are the things that, as far as experience that I'm talking about. You know, practice is going right. Hey, you got to pay attention when somebody's doing the drill. Right, make sure those guys that are in back right, are paying attention to what the drill is. Let's not let a young freshman come up to the, you know, at the two, when it's his time to come up to the drill and he's doing the drill wrong. So just making sure our focus, uh, you know, and attention, uh, Hunter knows. And so he's just kind of, you know, making sure that the message is being echoed throughout the group. Did you recruit him when he was in high school? Uh, no, I didn't, no. Okay. And then uh, just what do you think just about, you know, what you've been able to do along with, with Jalen and those two guys coming up again? Yeah, I think Jalen and Hunter, obviously, those guys have played a lot of football games. So, again, I'm just going to always go back to just experience, the experience that they bring on and off the football field. You were with Nevada in 20 years ago. Yes. What do you remember about the Arizona Bowl? Uh, the Arizona Bowl? Uh, I remember it was really windy that day we played, uh, but just in general, just the atmosphere. I mean, the facilities are obviously great. Uh, the town of Tucson, obviously, was beautiful, you know, of what I've seen uh, in terms of you know, the uh, activities that they uh, had us do and stuff. And so you remember about the, game itself? the game itself, it was a good game. It was Arkansas State. Um, the coach at Utah State, uh, he, he was the head coach at that time at Arkansas, Arkansas State that we played. But, you know, a tough, gritty game, you know, down here in Tucson. So Jalen and Hunter, they seem to be, you know, locks up the starting position there. But who are guys behind them that really impressed you during this game? Uh, you know, everybody. I mean, when you go through the drills, you're just trying to develop everybody. Uh, I, I look at it from just a different lens, a different optics in terms of, hey, hey, let's get everybody going. Let's get everybody developed. And then from there, we get closer to, uh, you know, game time. You know, who are the guys that we can have in rotation? And then Jalen seems to put on some weight in his legs. How has that helped him uh, during these camps? And how is that going to help him during the season? It just in general, you know, the weight, and if you can move around with that weight, the heavier you are and you can move around and you can stay, you know, flexible and agile. Uh, it's just only going to help them in terms of the run defense and obviously uh, pass rushing as well. I don't know how many defensive coordinators Jalen's had here, like how many position coaches, but I know it's a lot of both. It seems like it would be maybe easy to get discouraged about that. Like, what? Why? Why are there so many changes? What? What has his attitude been toward you and, and Johnny since you guys got Jalen? Attitude towards us has been great. You know, I, I don't look at where he's come from. You know, as far as the coaches and stuff. Um, and who he's been coached by, who he's been taught by. It's more of, hey, let's live in right now, let's live in the present, let's stay in the moment. What are the things that I can identify to help you uh, that you can turn your weaknesses into strengths and then go from there? What have you seen out of Russell Davis and Sterling Lane so far? Good. They're developing uh, you know, along just fine. You know, usually when you're a freshman coming in, uh, the biggest thing is you know, weight, how physical, how strong they are, and then just the mental, how fast the game is going. And they're, they're hanging in there. They're doing a good, uh, fine job. Sure. Are you looking at both of those guys at that cap position right now? Uh, in general, I just want to see what their skill set. So the biggest thing coming into camp, you know, let's see what you guys bring to the table. So yeah. How much weight do each of those guys need to put on, do you think? Uh, ideally, you want, you want to get up in the 240, 245. But in general, if whatever you bring to the table and you can get the job done, I'm OK with it. Bottom line is production, and let's get the job done. So you guys have been kind of moving around the I just think in general, you're just trying to, you know, figure out what are the pieces of the puzzle, right? Uh, there's times where he can have flashes of playing an inside interior guy. There's times where he can have flashes of playing outside. And what does that do in terms of having somebody that's versatile where you can just plug in? Uh, you know, like I tell the players, you know, your film is your resume. So if you can add more 
uh, abilities of showing that you can play the three, you can play the one, you can play the five, uh, the better off he's going to be, and it's better off for, for the team. Sacks are the easiest and most obvious way to kind of judge the pass rush. What do you look at statistically? What, what's the stat that matters the most to you? We want we would talk about affecting the quarterback, you know. So you know if it's an incomplete pass because it's a tip and overthrow, if it's a tip pass, a bad pass. So not only do we love sacks, right, but obviously affecting the quarterback in terms of completion, whether the ball went over the head, you know, he spiked the ball, ran out of bounds.